Hello everyone, Joe Thatcher here, Midwest Military Equipment out of Washington, Missouri. Had a lot of requests uh, for people asking what projects you got going on, what uh, what do you have happening in the shop, and kind of going to give you a little background of all the different projects and all the different pieces of equipment that we're working on right now, pieces of equipment that we're getting ready to list, and pieces of equipment that we just finished, like this truck behind here for our good customer, Mike. Uh, this is a 2002 M1085A1. Uh, Mike's had a LMTV, just straight 1079 before this, and he said, hey, I want to do something interesting. So this is an M1085A1. So the 1085A1 is a extended wheelbase truck, uh, has a factory 20-foot cargo bed. Uh, we had a 1079 box here, and Mike said, can you mount that 1079 box in front of the bed? Said, we've never done it before, but might as well see what it's about. It ended up turning out really, really awesome. So uh, this particular truck, uh, factory gear ratio is a 390 gear ratio. We changed them out to the 307. Uh, the 307 gets you from a 58 mile an hour top speed to a 70 mile an hour top speed. We've also added our air conditioning system and radio to this truck. Uh, as you can see on the interior here, we've remounted the CTIS to that same council. Uh, so you've got AM, FM, Bluetooth, uh, it's all marine, so the speakers can take water, the head unit can take water, it's AC, you've got six gang switch panel, two USB ports, one SIG port for charging your phone. Uh, we've also added our MME interior door handles. Uh, these got an integrated cup holder to them, just really finish off the interior very, very nicely. Uh, underneath here, it's got our upgraded cab air ride system. We designed that in-house, external shock, heavier duty airbag. All the parts are more off the shelf consumable, unlike the factory bags that are difficult to get a hold of. Uh, we mounted the 1079 box using the same isolator style. We recreated the same isolators that a 1079 originally had. Overall turned out really, really awesome. We were able to cut and notch the bed. As you can see, this was notched out here because originally there was a pocket. Uh, so we had to change a little bit there to be able to get the doors to open and function. But I believe he's going to be planning on adding on to the box potentially. That's why we shifted the box as far forward as possible. But with that 12 foot M1079 box, he still has about seven to seven and a half feet of bed space left over. On the rear, it's got our bolt on two inch receiver hitch. These come powder coated texture black. They bolt into the factory location. Uh, just overall truck turned out really, really cool. Um, had to add some front mud flaps because originally the bed that was on the truck, the forward half of the bed that was on the truck, uh, did not have the mud flaps on it. So we had built some brackets to put the mud flaps on. Uh, you can see we use the factory antenna hole for the new marine radio and AC system. Turns out really slick, kind of covers up where the original mount went. Uh, the seats in this truck we reupholstered with our black seat covers. Just overall, couldn't be happier with how this one turned out. Really beautiful truck. He's going to be repainting the truck, so you might say, why is the box not painted all pretty? Uh, it was actually per his request. Uh, since he's going to be painting it, it really doesn't make sense for us to sand it and make it all look uh, all uniform. But overall, it turned out very, very nice. And that's actually original paint on that box, and it matches the original paint on the truck very, very well. Uh, so we'll walk over here to a couple other cool items. We just got this one in. This is a M113A2 armored personnel carrier. Not very many of these in civilian hands. We actually just got two of these in. This first one rolled in earlier in the week. We have another one coming in later in the week. A uh, very cool beast here. It's powered by a uh, 6V uh, Detroit two-stroke diesel engine. And as you can see when I open up the back here, this thing is cherry. So. Interior is very, very clean, very, very nice and original. Uh, this machine went through a complete restoration. All new tracks, all new track pads, new idlers, new bogies. I mean, if you look at the track pads here, you can see all the bolts are new. Everything is just gorgeous on it. Very, very nice truck. Another cool truck, or sorry, track vehicle. Another cool truck here is a, uh, this is an M1087. So we've been fortunate enough that's our second one. Uh, I believe there's only seven, maybe eight of these in civilian hands right now. So this is a 20 foot expandable box truck. This one's gonna be listed up on our website. Uh, probably by the time the video gets up, we're hoping this one will be sold. They seem to be a pretty hot commodity. Everybody's looking for them. Not only due to their rarity, but also the 20 foot expandable box being already on it. Being that this is an A0 truck, this is one of the first generations of the expandable box. 
Uh, if you watch any of our other videos on our channel, you saw we had a 1087A1R that was a little bit newer model. Box was a little bit different design. Uh, it did not have the cutouts over the fender wells. On this one, they've relocated the exhaust and the air cleaner already, which a lot of people want to do that. And these are actually a hydraulic expandable box versus the other ones are manual cranks. So you have a switch here where you can hydraulically bring in and bring out the box itself. Uh, turned out really, really neat. This is a Oshkosh M1070 we're getting ready to list. This truck we've completely gone through as well. It'll be up on our website probably later this week. We'll walk kind of back to the shop and talk about some of the other pieces of equipment that we've got working on and currently building. <clears throat> so this is a M1078 we're actually building as a tour truck. Uh, it's in the final stages, waiting for some parts to come back from powder coat. Uh, we built custom seating, custom boarding ladders. We're actually building a pair of these trucks, so there'll be a complete ride up on these, but really, really awesome trucks. They've got integrated steps that are on gas struts, so they automatically come up, but they stay in the lowered position, so you can get on and off of the back of the truck with ease. Uh, all the steps have lighting underneath them. The seats have lighting underneath them. These things are getting stereos. They're getting custom bimini tops, custom seat cushions. Uh, gonna be really, really cool when they're all said and done. Of course, we had to cut some custom grills for them per the customer's request and LED lighting all the way around. I'll walk over here to the other portion of the shop. This is actually, this vehicle here is not gonna be for sale, but we do have another one that's gonna be for sale. This is a 1944 DUKW amphibious personnel carrier. Uh, this machine has been completely ground up, restored, and is absolutely in amazing condition. We were able to find this unit out of Washington State and bring it here. The guys were just washing it yesterday and getting it all cleaned up. We've got a parade coming up for the holidays. We're going to be taking it out and showing it off. Uh, but this thing is just absolutely amazing. The condition, it's got all the tools on it. Uh, all the little, all the bumpers, the original rope bumpers. A lot of people don't realize that, you know, before when rubber was a high commodity during the war effort, they installed rope bumpers to cut down. This is actually a 1944 bilge pump. So when the item would take on water, this would be a bilge pump for sucking water out of the boat. Uh, the interior, you can get a shot of the dash, you can see all the data plates, everything has been completely restored. Just overall, really, really cool piece. It came to us and it needed a little bit of brake work. We, uh, when we got into the brakes, we decided to go ahead and tear the axles completely down, uh, go through them, all new brake master cylinder, all new wheel seals. Uh, repacked all the bearings and just made it where it's able to be driven and enjoyed for a long time. Uh, we'll walk in to a portion of the shop here. Usually we'll walk over here to this dozer first. Uh, this is a ex-military or prior military D7G dozer. Uh, this particular machine was in excellent condition whenever we got it, but it seems like a majority of these, uh, after we sell them, customers always wanted them painted yellow. So we said, why leave this one in the original Desert Tan when we can just go ahead and paint it yellow and offer it painted yellow. Uh, we got the glass company coming later this week. We're putting all new glass inside the cab. Uh, the whole machine's been sandblasted, epoxy primed, repainted. All the filters have been changed. All the fluids have been changed. It's getting brand new uh, seat in it all the cylinders, we have put all new wiper seals, pistons, glands, completely gone through every cylinder on the machine, updated all the lighting to LED, replaced the stack, uh, went through the undercarriage, we did track tensioner seals on this machine, brand new cutting edges, the cutting edges that were on it were in great shape, but you know, on a machine like this, we wanna make it so somebody can take it out and put it directly to work right away. And you know, this machine is really, really turning out beautiful now. Uh, we'll take a walk down some of our, this is kind of our unfinished inventory, some of the trucks that we have. We've got another 1070, have a 1070 there. We just got this 1085 A1 that's in, uh, which it has not been spoken for yet. It's a very nice, that's 
came to us in that sort of condition. It's a beautiful truck. Bunch of 1070s, 1079 box, 936A1, M1089, A1 wrecker, M1093 behind it. That's an M1078. That one's pretty rough. As you can see, it'll probably end up being a parts truck. Um, biggest question that we get asked is, do you have parts to support these vehicles? We keep, uh, we've got our one building here, our other building over there, and we have another building down the hill. We keep about 20,000 square feet of parts all the time for our vehicles. So if you need parts for a Humvee, an LMTV, any type of Oshkosh vehicle, we can definitely get you taken care of on that. We'll walk over here by these Hemets and kind of show you what we've got going on. As you can see, we're tied on room up here on our other lot. So we're updating and moving and rearranging some equipment. It's kind of a mess right now, but once it'll be done, it'll be very, very nice because we'll have plenty of room for more inventory. We have a lot of trucks coming in and a lot of trucks going out. So it'd be nice to have plenty of room to work. You can see that's actually our military 850 JR dozer with a three shank ripper. Um, this will be our new parking lot expansion. We're working on getting all this leveled out. It had trees on it. We had to clear and grind. And uh, you know, this will be our, this will be our new yard for all of our equipment. So we'll be sure to do a video whenever it gets done. Please make sure to like and subscribe to our channel if you love the content that we're putting out. And uh, if you're looking for anything in particular, feel free to reach out to us because we have a lot of trucks that aren't listed on our website. Uh, a lot of stuff that we do, uh, we can do all sorts of different custom fabrication work. Uh, pretty much you name it, we've probably done it. And for equipment wise, we more than likely have it. We normally keep around 150 to 200 vehicles in stock at all times. Um, so check us out online at MidwestMilitaryEquipment.com or give us a call at 636-900-9046. Thanks for watching.